After this morning, we're going to hear from Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill. For the first time since several women accused him of sexual harassment, we've been following this story for almost a week now. So Hill has, of course, denied the accusations against him. Until today, all his statements have been written. But our Matt McCutcheon is live for us from the State House downtown this morning to recap, really, what we've learned so far, because even a lot developed even over the weekend here, Matt. That's right. Good morning to you. Just one week ago, it's hard to believe those developments came to light for the very first time. And later this morning, in fact, at 10 o'clock, he's expected to speak for the first time. Now, this all is all about what four women say happened back at an event in March of this year after the legislative session wrapped up. Twice this past week, Curtis Hill has said he will not resign, despite calls from even the governor for Hill to step aside. He should uh, take, it's not a hint, <laughs> take what amounts to a threat from the leadership and uh, resign. If he doesn't, I, for one, will move for his impeachment. I've talked to other legislators about it, and they feel the same way. Now, at 10 this morning, Hill will speak, quote, to members of the media recent, about recent calls for his resignation. It's unclear if he'll also be addressing those encounters from March of this year and those four women's accusations. Of course, we'll be here for what he has to say and stream it for you live on WTHR.com as well as the WTHR app. Ben and Julia. All right, Matt, thank you. 505 tonight. We will